The Black Panther teaser trailer just premiered, and we are breaking it all down live right here on Screen Junkies News. The hotly anticipated Black Panther trailer just debuted during game four of the NBA Finals. As of right now, the Cavs are up by 17 with two minutes left in this half. More importantly, you guys, we get to dive into the vibranium minds with these brilliant minds. I've got Daniel Radford and Roth Cornette here to break this down. Before we even break down a thing, let's just break down our feelings. Oh. Because I am feeling, OMG, that was off the charts fantastic. Breaking down those feelings, Roth. Let's break down the feelings. First of all, the brilliant minds are very tired. It is late on Friday <laughs> night. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna do the best we can here. But this quickly became my most anticipated. I was already really looking forward to this film because of the team that's assembled. Mm -hmm. This trailer absolutely brought it home. It delivered everything I could have wanted from it. And this became my most anticipated I think comic book movie of the next year, which is saying a lot that because I lot. I say because I love that Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi, absolutely. Yep. Danielle, when we were watching, you literally <sighs> laid your head against my chest, <laughs> and you you I'm had very a, tall, you so it was a, a long moment. way to go. I did. I had a second. It was oh, it was so good. It was so wonderful. It was um, just seeing so many amazing actors all in one place. And I'm sorry, just like a just a big beautiful black Marvel movie <laughs> like that does that did a lot for me and that was before I saw Michael B Jordan and then <laughs> that was it. we both lost it when that happened <laughs> so let's from start humor. from the top this uh trailer which was actually a lot longer than we thought we were a little worried we were only gonna get maybe 30 seconds maybe a minute this really isn't a teaser this is a proper trailer it is mm -hmm. we got one minute and 53 seconds of just fantastic chock-a-block beautiful footage the first thing we see is sort of this light flickering and then we see some ankles that are shackled those ankles belong to claw played by andy circus mm -hmm. mm -hmm. andy circus looking terrifying looking like i mean he's just such a phenomenal actor and i think now we're going to have a chance to see him really explore something outside of what we always get in CGI. Well, we've seen Claw already and they teased him a little bit. So it was a question initially if mm -hmm. he was, it seemed obvious that he was gonna play a role in this film, right? But clearly he is playing a large role a in very this large film. Right. He's the big which bad. Is, which he is, Claw is the big bad in this world. Yeah, completely makes sense. And I love that we get kind of the view of what Wakanda looks like from the outside mm -hmm. during this conversation, because he's asking, you know, hey, what do you know about Wakanda? And he's like, you know, uh, third world country, you know, a bunch of like shepherds, blah, blah, blah. And he, by the and way, that's one is, is uh, Ever K. Ross. Ross. And so then Claw has to say, oh, no, 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 no. Like this is El Dorado. This is El Dorado. This is, I am the only one to go in there and make it out alive. Yeah, and that yeah. is such a huge deal and a great way to set up how secluded Wakanda is yeah. as a nation. Um, very, very quickly, just for those, you probably remember this, but Ultron is where they initially teased Claw. Um, talk a little bit about the mythical El Dorado, for those who might not be familiar. The mythical El Dorado, well, that's the city of gold, yeah. right? Um, except, of course, for Wakandans, it's not a city of gold. It is the city, a city of, of vibranium. vibranium. The uh, most precious thing that you could find. Yep. And now what Captain America's shield is made out of? They always thought that it was in South America. It's not. It's in what they're calling a third world country. But then they say this is all a front. This is actually this thing. And obviously everybody's going after it. Now, Everett K. Ross, uh, played by uh, Michael Free or Martin Freeman, mm -hmm. is somebody who we're we're still not really sure what his intentions are. But in this particular case, he's obviously interrogating him. But we go away from this interrogation room. We go to Wakanda. And what we see is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. This particular scene that they show, which is apparently the coronation well, of T'Challa so, you saw before. So there was a set, not a set visit, but a visit to Marvel Studios that I did earlier this year. And we have a separate video up about that. So what I'm going to say is some of what they teased and they showed us there. They showed us footage from several of the films, including Black Panther. So Obviously, we're breaking down this trailer. If you don't want to know anything more, I'm going to tease a little bit, and then I'll wave my hands when I'm done. Because initially, we thought this was... 
what we thought that it might have been there is an area where all Black Panthers go, where they can communicate with the dead Black Panthers of the past. They go, they get advice, they have a real chill hang with all <laughs> with their ancestors, um, and that is something that you get to do as a Black Panther. So I initially thought that that might be what that area was, but it's actually the coronation. So they showed us a bunch more of that scene. They showed us some dailies mm -hmm. and a bunch of scenes from Black Panther um, during this visit to Marvel Studios, and they showed us basically both sides of that scene. And it is a coronation, and it's. It's really amazing beautiful. to see it play out here because mm -hmm. in the footage that they showed it wasn't complete and it sort of ends much lower on the cliff side and i'm like oh well that <sighs> cgi is working beautifully um, <laughs> to extend that sequence but yes that is his coronation but when we see this reveal if you look at the first image we see t'challa sort of coming out and it's gorgeous oh here you can come back, back. <laughs> uh, but Hi. then if you look in the background jonathan can you throw up some of the images notice the man in the purple robe that uh if you look closely is uh, the one, uh, the only, a uh, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. Uh, and now we get a closer up shot of him. I mean, we know a little bit about what he's going to be doing in this movie, but Danielle, can you give us any more insight into who he's going to be playing? Um, I haven't seen, unfortunately, a whole lot about that. This is, see, it's felt like it's something that's been, um, a little mysterious yeah. about who he is going to be. Now in that scene, it's him with what looks like a bunch of children stirring something very mysterious. Yeah. Um, and we're not quite sure what that is. So it looks like he might be some sort of an elder, possibly some kind of a priest, right. um, maybe something kind of mystical. So the other thing that you notice immediately is the mixture of, and I noticed this in all the footage that they were showing us at that event too, it's this amazing mix of nature and technology. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. integrated beautifully together. And also this technology is so advanced that it makes me think, well, okay, so fine, vibranium, but where else is this technology coming from? Look at this. Right. And also once it's open up to the world, you, you understand more why they've remained so isolated and insulated, mm -hmm. but once that's opened up to the world, the desire for those resources is going to be so overwhelming, but we'll Absolutely. get into that in a little yeah. bit. Well, then right after that, as soon as we leave the coronation scene, we go into a fight sequence mm -hmm. and we see some murky dudes and some murky lighting. They turn as if they're going to shoot. They turn their guns toward a dog. The dog is OK, Yay, which I was okay. very concerned about. But then the Black Panther shows up and guess who's not OK? Those murky dudes who showed up to start some ruckus. And we get to see mm -hmm. the very first parts of we've already seen him fight in Civil War, but now we get to see the standalone fighting and it is potent. And this moment where he's being shot at, and of course, because of the suit being made out of vibranium. Yeah, it's woven out of vibranium, so he's fine. This is, I'm gonna say another thing from that visit, so I'll do this. Um, they showed us an extended version of this scene, and also in this scene, kicking major butt yes. is Lupita Nyong'o. We don't see her here, what? but she's a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, and she, that's all. Oh, that's <laughs> Talk so, about, that's yeah. so exciting. Oh, do you want to wave Lupita again? Did they know when oh, to... there, come back. Come, come back. back. Everything's come back. cool. And speaking of coming back, we then go back in time, back into the interrogation room. Mm -hmm. And in the interrogation room, we pull away from Andy Serkis and Martin Freeman, and we see that Chadwick Boseman has been watching this entire thing. Chadwick Boseman with, if you remember from Civil War, Danielle, you do a great rendition of this actress <laughs> okay. doing her line. Move, or you will be moved. That's right. The woman who stole Civil War. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Forrest playing Zuri uh, in comics, former Black Panther. Oh, and King of Wakanda. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. There Thank we go. Thank you so much, producer Justin. So in the interrogation room, they're watching what is going on with Claw. Uh, and obviously, there's some history, we can assume. Like, there's something going on. But then right after that, we get our first shot of Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. oh. So this is other big bad, mm -hmm. Killmonger. Mm. Yep, Eric Killmonger. And so we see him here along with kind of his gang. Which as... this is, a, first of all, let's just pause and note how amazing this suit looks. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness, it sure does. The suit, the mask, the whole thing. And then he blows the door, or the wall, actually. Mm -hmm. And now Claw can escape. Uh, so it is, and it is an interesting thing because the basic premise of this film is a introducing the world um, to Wakanda, but also that he is not only dealing with the very pretty still recent death of his father, mm -hmm. taking on this new responsibility and internal factions fighting, and then somehow that extending out into 
into the world to be, he has to prevent a world war essentially like that's the stakes that are potentially going on in this film um and yeah. it's interesting to note that these are probably the factions that are now mm -hmm. fighting eternally again probably for the resources is my guess what do you think uh my guess would be partially for the resources power, and remember there's he, a power vacuum there's a power vacuum plus they still have Bucky, if you remember yes. from the end of Civil War. And so obviously I could see very easily how some people would say, well, what happens when the world finds out that you're harboring this criminal yeah. and they come knocking at our door? You're supposed to protect us and but you're you going to bring this danger in. into our home. Yeah. I could easily see that being mm. one of the through lines of the movie. Yeah, it's those two, three things at play, right? Yep. Well, so right after we see the breakout of Claw, we go into a scene that we're all kind of describing as like a James Bond scene. Mm -hmm. And Roth, you also saw some footage of this, so you can tell us a little bit more about what this was. Yeah, so they showed this. This is a nightclub in South Korea, and we know they did a big chase scene there. And again, it's this world is extending out. You could hear the um, Dora Milaje on their comms. Oh, sort cool. of, they were basically in the middle of an op there. And yeah. also there is Ever K. Ross going after some kind of a briefcase. Um, and it's a very James Bond-esque oh. scene. Yeah. and plays out exactly like you would think about think it would but it's it's a way that they're expand I was curious how they were going to able to bridge the gap of introducing you to this amazing yeah El Dorado type world and then also getting so global with it well and that's the thing that James Bond yeah. does so well yeah what I love too about the scene is everything we see in terms of fights because it is the Dora Milaje it's all women mm -hmm. there is Lupita Nyong'o I mean that sort of staff that she's wheeling just kick and butt. This looks fantastic. You know, Dora Milaje stands for adored ones, and I definitely adore them. Oh, we do. We do. We <laughs> I do. You're right. I do adore them. <laughs> Big time. Right after that, we go into a moment that created a little bit of conflict in this studio because we were like, what is this? If you go to the other shot, the other reverse of Chadwick Boseman, the question was, is he surrendering or is he celebrating? I say surrender. I, it does look like a surrender, but, but it I could be a Trojan horse. I think surrender. that's what it right. probably would ultimately be. He's not actually sorry. It's because either, Michael B. Jordan is over either, there. In the back. So I don't think it's celebration. It's one of I think it's one of two things: either surrender or come and get it. You and me. Oh, oh. yeah, because it I'm looks here. to be like I'm a here. fallen. Like I don't have my like. Just come, come and get it. Just me. But just is the door Melange standing in the back with? Michael B. Jordan, Killmonger. That could be some of the Trojan horse thing that uh, that you were just talking about, where maybe they're there and Killmonger thinks that they're with him, but at the end they're like, oh no, we always know who we're with. Oh. Mm. Let us know what you think. Yeah, we yeah. need to know what you Please. guys think. Then we go to the UN uh, and we see T'Challa being more of the ambassador, being le leading the world as king, mm -hmm. which of course makes sense. And then from there we get more of Killmonger. And this was the moment where both Daniel and I went, ooh. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, hi. And also, uh, I just totally, Daniel Kaluuya. Yep, you got the yeah. Daniel Kaluuya right there from uh, Get Out. And he is, and it looks like um, Killmonger has been arrested. He's being brought into these chambers. He definitely looks captive. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they caught him right after he busted Claw out. Like, who knows? But mm -hmm. that's kind of what it appears to be. Or you had uh, another theory that he was there talking about Bucky. Yeah, that could be another one as well. Well, because where... we go from there into a chamber where it looks like he's dealing with the council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that could be sort of, so the council person that he's brought in front of, and maybe he's sort of taking responsibility for what you're saying. And also, you also pointed out that seat in the council is the same throne chair that we saw in the poster that was revealed earlier today. Mm -hmm. It also could be design. A, a piece Beautiful. of what we were talking about in terms of the power vacuum and sort of a power grab and him needing to defend his right to lead on multiple fronts. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. you know? absolutely. Yeah, so it's not just people who are fighting, but it's also you've got to deal with, you know, the Game of thrones -y behind the scenes machinations. Mm -hmm. it's, why, it's why you get that throne right in that room. So you can... Get the throne. Get the our, throne. Our producer is wrong, uh, writing us an incredibly long note right now. <laughs> oh, wow, this is great. The Dora Milaje served Black Panther, but if Killmonger has taken the throne in his absence, they would serve him. Well, we'll see. Well, so sure. that, so it's less so a he's, her. So he's a man on his own. This is and the Dora Milaje is now serving Killmonger, who is now the king of Wakanda. Because they're maybe. so loyal to Wakanda. Maybe. Oh, maybe. my babies. That was basically an in real life comment, like, <laughs> giving us his theory, which is a great just, theory, just by the way. Um, <laughs> it, it could be that, or it could, it could be. be that they're setting him up, or it could be, I like the idea that he's just like, let's leave everyone else out of this. You and, and me. You and yep, me. You and Come me. at me, fight. bro. Yeah. yeah. You know who I don't want to fight? 
Angela Bassett, because mm -mm. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Bassett, who shows up uh, finally, like, pretty deep oh. into this with Lupita Nyong'o and Everett K. Ross in the back. Not sure where, not sure what. What can we guess about any of this? Yeah, uh, next you kind of see them. They show, it looks like they're going into um, some kind of structure, maybe like a hut. Uh, so it's, are they are they on the run? Are they going away and hiding? Because again, that is Black Panther's mother. If things are going down where mm -hmm. Black Panther's in trouble, you want to get her away from all that and keep her protected. Absolutely. And the truth is the stronger story is for him to start out in the coronation and everything's fine and, and then to be ousted and then have to reclaim his throne. That's <sighs> the stronger arc, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Give me that Shakespeare yeah. stuff. Or <laughs> is he at the UN at the very I'll start? Give you that Shakespeare stuff and in the meantime, <laughs> Killmonger is taking over everything and he comes back to Wakanda and he's like, But I thought this was my throne. And they're yeah. like, Nope, this wasn't. No. And then he has to win it back. And Ugh. or there that he's been distracted by or been forcibly distracted by global issues. Mm -hmm. right? Why are you and running around with the to, Avengers when we yeah. have stuff going on right, right, right here that we need to be taken care of? Absolutely. Ooh, there's so many things. There's oh, so many things. So and there's also gonna be rad fighting. We see what could be a training sequence, it could be a fighting sequence. Sequence. That's Michael B. Jordan just looking just dope. That's just great. That's beautiful fight choreography. We're not sure right if there. this is a fight or a training sequence. We see a couple things of this. And then once it's time to utilize all those skills, one of the final shots of the trailer is Black Panther sort of leaping off of a car into this backflip, landing on another car that is moving forward the whole time. Run the jewels, legend has it playing, getting you so pumped up. And then the title sort of flickers into like little life, just like little stars in the sky that you can make a wish on. And the wish is that the movie will be as good as this trailer because every single person involved, I want to bow at their feet. Ryan Coogler, oh, I hmm. mean, I can't, but I will. But why is February so long? It's so, it's far. so far. I mean, February 16th, 2018. I know. But man, this trailer was phenomenal. I think it sets the stage to for it sets a bar, right? And I do think that they will absolutely live up to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it also says, look, we're not just doing the same thing over and over again. And I hope that that's true. I think that this is going to be a unique film mm -hmm. um, and introduce us to a really interesting world come to life. Yes. Yeah, this this is one of those things where if you're a fan of Marvel and you've been a fan of Marvel for a while, you're like, they are never going to make a Black Panther movie. They're just never going to get there. There's too much to explain. You've got to explain the world. It's just not going to happen. And now you look at it and you get to see like this beautiful idea come to life and you get to see Chadwick Boseman who apparently the Black Panther's biggest uh, threat is oncoming traffic because every time because <laughs> now it's two movies in a row where every time he fights he's got to deal with cars so yeah Listen, the man's got a way to get around, and we know <laughs> the dog lives, and that's what's important. You guys, I cannot tell you how excited we all are. Every single person in this audience, we watched this probably like six or seven times. We have no audience live here, by the way. She meant office. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. We we'll all, take a live audience if you guys want to come in. Watch this as the <laughs> office, and every single person was just thrilled beyond measure. And we want to know what you thought. Are you as excited as we are? Because honestly, if you're not, you crazy, because this looks so good. But let us know what you think. You can let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJ News. Make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. And I think as of right now, the game is 6886. Go Warriors.